What's up, Multiverse? Dr. Dave here, and welcome to the Geek Lounge. In today's video, it's another Funko Pop hunt. I'm heading up to Watford High Street because I know Smith's Toys there have got in a pop that I've really been waiting for it to, you know, come in stock. It's been in stock in the north of the country and all the Smith's Toys in the north of the country for about a week now, and they finally started dropping down kind of in the London and southern area. So hopefully it's still in stock by the time I get there. Game also dropped something on their website today. Um, that I'm hoping might be in store. I'm not sure if it will be. Let's see. There's a few other stores to check out as well. And I think I'm going to start with Tesco. So I'll see you guys in there. All right, and Tesco's had this annoying trolley in the way. So I was trying to look through, but they had Squirtle. A lot of the what if pops here that we've kind of seen quite regularly. And on the other side, they had the 10 inch child, a couple of those 10 inch Pokemon Silver, the anniversary editions, but nothing else really too different that we haven't seen before. There's an Imperial Batman hiding behind there. Interesting to see some Dragon Ball Z, you know, some animation in a Tesco store, some Harry Potter, uh, Raya the Last Dragon there. Then they had a few of the mystery minis, you know, minions. Uh, Mandalorian some pocket pops there as well but nothing really too great and then I did notice on the other side they did actually have this uh, pocket pop and tea uh, which was pretty cool for Christmas with Spider-Man there and then it, they also had by the side there that Batman pop and tea I'd seen before I think that was like was that like first appearance or something like that and then I did actually also notice just by the side they had this 20 pounds club card price which I think was for this pop here which that's pretty much a bargain for 20 pound to be honest all right guys, nothing from Tesco's except for some much needed hydration. Now onto Smith's Toys where hopefully they have that pop in stock. And that pop I was talking about guys is right there. The New York Comic Con slash full convention exclusive Boba Fett from The Mandalorian. Very, very cool. And as for everything else in the store, they had a King Killmonger there, Zombie Red Hulk. They had Wenwu and Katie down here from Shang-Chi. I don't actually only watched that that night. I noticed they had some leather faces in, a couple of the different ones. A Beetlejuice, Pennywise, some Harry Potter. That glow-in-the-dark Frankenstein there was pretty cool. Over on the other side, they had some WWE pops, Rey Mysterio. They had this Xavier Woods Up, Up, Down, Down pop. It was just £7, so I was thinking seriously about getting it. Some more WWE pops. Uh, at the top there, a few bits of animation, some Pokemon, some of that Oscar stuff there as well, that Deathstroke. Down here they had some of the 10 inches, as you guys can see. By the side there, I then noticed a couple of things they had new, that metallic uh, Deadpool, Mermaid Deadpool, Skeletor there, the Hulk Hogan and Mr. T, which I actually thought was an Amazon exclusive. They did have the Harry Potter pushing trolley, which was new in as well. And then by the side, they had a few sodas there. The, you know, the Batman Who Laughs, Captain... Uh, Captain America, and then notice this Thor figure. Someone had opened all of the four uh, sodas guys to clearly look for the chase. And then these were some of the new sodas from the recent release for New York Comic Con slash full convention exclusives. Roberto there, as you could see. I then saw a couple of Deadpools, Paris the Deadpool there, Captain America again, another Deadpool. You know, they have quite a lot of cool figures in Smith's Toys, and you know. Uh, as we went up here, some more fun on exclusive, some Doug Days, Thanos Black Light, Deathstroke was up there again, a lot of the Marlon Morales pops, but yeah, that was Smith's Toys and their section. I then decided to head into the Entertainer to see what they had, and you know, I'd noticed this before, but they actually got rid of their exclusive Spunko section. But the first pop I really kind of saw as I came in was this Bumblebee figure, which I think it was exclusive to Target in the US. Hadn't seen it in here before, so I thought that was pretty cool and thought I'd pick it up. I haven't got a Bumblebee yet. As for everything else, they had a lot of the Master of the Universe Funcon exclusive there, the Cobra Red Ninja, some of the Barbie Pops, My Little Pony. You know, this is very much a kind of like animation shelf with theirs, a lot of Disney stuff, but nothing too different or, or special from, you know, what I'd seen before, especially in that store. And then kind of over there to the right, was more of kind of movies and television and things like this. Again, nothing really too special. And then just over to the left, they had this kind of cool Christmas section there with the Marvel gingerbread figures. There's Hulk, Captain Marvel, Thor. And then down below, they had some of the uh, Jingle All The Way, Pops, the, the Arnie 90s movie, as well as a few other kind of Christmas later things there, which was pretty cool to see. Then on the kind of side bit is their Star Wars section. I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure this has been the same for weeks, if not months. And then on the other section, I noticed there at the top, 
you know, I'm pretty sure they used to have pops there on the top as well. I'm pretty sure they have shrunk their Fungo Pop section, at least in this entertainer store in Watford. Only gaming sections, some pop rocks down here, some of the towns specifically, kind of Batman DC, a Batmobile ride there, some of the DC pops there on the bottom shelf, Imperial Palace there, some of the pink kind of cancer awareness ones, moving into kind of the WWE section, which I always feels quite big uh, in the entertainer there. I had to take a quick look. I picked this figure up before but it was the triple h that kind of SummerSlam pin exclusive figure as well they had the new Rey mysterio that avengers deluxe uh, black widow which i think was exclusive and i always find it funny to see this red guardian year of the shield amazon exclusive in there but yeah that was pretty much it guys for the entertainer so I did pop into game quickly, as you can see they had that Star Wars Rebels, the uh, Imperial Super Commando, 24 99 that's like 6 inch slash deluxe slash 10 inch there. Uh, Stormtrooper, I think that's that comic retro series, you know, Christmas Superman there, Virgil van Dyke for any Liverpool fans, what? I also noticed they had that Thanos, I think that was exclusive to game as well, the spring kind of convention where he's kind of missing the hand. Um, but yeah guys, they didn't have the All Might figure in, that was another uh, of the new Gingerbread in there, Captain Marvel, um, a lot of kind of common stuff you typically see in game, they also get a lot of sports pops as well, some WWE, that was another Stormtrooper there, you know, it, it's kind of basic stuff, I did notice they had, also had, similar to Smith's Toys, the Harry Potter pushing trolley, but unfortunately, no All Might figure in, at least not that day, but they did have the Snake Eyes, which was new, and I did have a quick check behind just to see, and yeah, the All Might figure wasn't there, so we'll pick it up another day. And that was the hunt, guys. Just before I get into the three figures that I actually picked up, I do just want to say a few things. Firstly, if you're kind of thinking, hold on, these dates don't add up, or what's he talking about, these figures are in store, I did actually shoot that footage last Friday. And I did actually head into another two stores. The first was Menkind, but they didn't really have anything different compared to the other store, so I didn't bother shooting any footage. And the other one was Primark, because I don't know if you guys know, Primark, the same as they did last year, got in a bunch of exclusives this year as well. I know what you're thinking, Primark, I kind of think the same too, but it is what it is. So I actually headed into the Watford store, because Fungo had tweeted all of the participating stores, and Watford was kind of right there near the bottom of the list, or right at the bottom of the list. So I headed into the store, it's two floors, it's a huge store, but I actually couldn't find anything. I asked three members of staff who didn't seem to know anything about it. I did then tweet Fungo to say, is Watford definitely participating? But I never got an answer, so... Yeah, I, I really don't know whether they're now in stock this week. I, I, I don't know. I haven't been out this week. But I was a little bit disappointed because, you know, I was interested in picking up that Carnage, the Grogu, um, and the What If Zombie Doctor Strange as well. But I'll try and pick them up, you know, somewhere later down the line. I actually haven't been out this week, like I mentioned, so I don't know if that All Might figure did drop in game stores. So I did actually order it online and, you know, we'll take a look at it once it arrives. And so now on to the figures that I did pick up. And we'll actually go in reverse order so we can save the best for last. I did pick up this Bumblebee with the special edition sticker. Was it Bumblebee? It doesn't actually say, but I think it is like classes like Bumblebee with wings or something like that. Uh, I I honestly don't know. This this must have been a restock. Uh, yeah, it's got the 2020 on there. I know this did come out last year. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it was a Target exclusive um, in the US. But yeah, I, I didn't know that this had even come out, uh, you know, in the UK, to be honest. I, I wasn't really following enough kind of um, people, channels, accounts. I really couldn't think of the word there. Um, but yeah, I wasn't really following enough. So I didn't know who was kind of getting things exclusively last year. Whereas I, I kind of have a really good idea now from following all these various people and platforms. So yeah, I, I can only assume this went to the entertainer, but I, I honestly don't remember seeing it. I hadn't picked up a Bumblebee yet, um, so uh, yeah, decided to pick it up, add it to collection. Let's now take a closer look. And there he is, guys. I actually really like this one a lot. It's kind of like a, a different pose, a different mould. Like I said, they, I, I think it was, it's called like Bumblebee with wings, or at least I've heard people refer to it like that, where, is it really wings? I mean, maybe it is, I don't know, but he is kind of a car after all. Um, you know, very colourful, almost kind of looks like, looking at it here in the light, it could glow in the dark, obviously it doesn't, but as we kind of swing around, we've got kind of, it's not really mid-transformation, is it, but we can obviously see some of the wheels, some of the kind of machine machinery there, uh, which, you know, is pretty cool as we kind of go around, not really too much else going on. 
there at the back. Like I said, I think this is referred to as Bumblebee with wings. But as we swing back around the front, he's got that kind of smile. He's always like a, you know, seen as one of the, the kind of nice characters, the, the kind of cool characters, uh, you know, throughout the Transformers franchise. Uh, very, very cool. I actually you know uh, the professor and i would were, were kind of discussing transformers recently and we actually felt the the kind of recent bumblebee film that they they kind of looked a lot more like the kind of these these kind of retros like they did in the cartoons right and where, whereas yeah, we kind of found it quite hard to decipher things out in those kind of original series of movies so I, i'm hoping with you know with more transformers movies coming and as they develop the franchise that you know they'll actually start to look like they did in the cartoon in the comics and particularly these retro toys and from smith's toys guys i did decide to pick up this xavier woods the up up down down version or i should say king xavier woods after he won the king of the ring at crown jewel this i think was also exclusive uh to smith's toys the special edition sticker as we always see over here and I wasn't sure whether I was going to pick this up because um, because it did come out quite a while ago. I think, yeah, it was still this year, um, but I really wasn't sure. If you've been kind of watching or, or you know me, I, I'm not the kind of obsessive type that I need every single variant of a figure in a collection. So I, I already have the, the kind of Bootios three pack of the New Day. And, you know, that, that was kind of enough for me, but... I was looking at this, wasn't sure, and then, yeah, as you saw in the video earlier, it was £7, so it gone down in sale, I think it was like 12 originally, maybe even 13 could it be like 12 99 or something, and yeah, I thought, you know what, let's grab it, and especially because recently, for any kind of WWE fans who, who kind of look into news and stuff, there has been some controversy uh, on the Up Up Down Down, that's actually his YouTube channel, uh, kind of big gaming channel, and I actually haven't followed the story for the last week, but the week kind of before there was some controversy on the people felt Xavier Woods was being taken advantage of by the WWE, that he wasn't really getting a lot out um, of the channel and, you know, or, or getting things back in terms of like remunerization, if that's really the right word. And, you know, it, it seemed like they stopped producing content. And I, I don't know actually what happened with the story. I have to look back on it now. Um, I think Xavier Woods did come out and say, well, WWE actually owned the channel. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. There's been obviously a lot of controversy with WWE over the kind of last year, you, you know, with kind of third, third party platforms, you know, Twitch and Cameo and, and things. And a lot of uh, a lot of the wrestlers had to close their things down because supposedly they were in breach of contract. And it, it was all just a bit of a mess. And obviously some people left, some people got sacked some people have been rehired as uh, Selena Vega but um yeah it, it is what it is I thought well you know what let's pick this up who knows what's going to happen to the up 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 down down YouTube channel um but yeah let's get him out the box and take a closer look and there he is guys the king of the ring was was this figure actually supposed to be metallic because I, I kind of thought it was but it doesn't quite look metallic to me maybe a little bit but you know as it is with any New Day member a very kind of colorful uh, look to their attire you know the pink the greens uh, i love the kind of toe curling boots as well um you know some of those up up down down which kind of well, essentially was a cheat code right back in the day the the kind of d-pad controls xavier there on the back it kind of carries on the the kind of pink green the whites the golds there as i said all kind of very colorful he's kind of got his hair tied up in a in a kind of bunch there at the back obviously Xavier Woods has that that very kind of big afro when he when he kind of lets it out and as we swing back around there that kind of 8-bit unicorn there on the side that's pretty cool again kind of d-pad uh decor you know on on kind of the the gloves or on the the kind of waistcoat there nothing there on the on the kind of t-shirt it's just kind of that light blue I mean maybe they could have done something there in terms of like uh, whether it was a New Day t-shirt or, or something like that. I did actually mention Woods there um, on the pants as well with Xavier being on the back. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool figure and again, happy to add it to my growing WWE collection. And lastly guys, the whole point of the hunt was to get this figure, the full conventional New York Comic Con exclusive Boba Fett from The Mandalorian. And I was actually so happy to pick this up I, I haven't checked the stocks this week. They they probably are in you know in stores, 
much more prevalent now. It's exclusive to Smith's Toys anyway here in the UK. Uh, but like I said in the, uh, or at least at the start of the video, or at the start of my hunt, I should say, that the, uh, the they were actually all going in stock early last week um, in, in kind of the north of the country. And then finally, kind of Thursday, Friday, I started to see them dropping more kind of where I am in the London area, as well as the south of the country. So, you know, I was really happy to pick him up. I did actually walk in there and was like, I don't see the figure. Where is it? They said they've got five in stock. And then I kind of saw it there in plain sight. But yeah, guys, let's not waste any more time. And let's get a look at this bad boy. And look at that, guys, the menacing scars on the face. Speaking of the scars, I mean, I think in the Mandalorian, they were a little bit more prevalent over the face, right? And I think if, if you have watched the Boba Fett trailer, at least, or, or the book of Boba Fett, I should say, he, he seems to be healing, right? But I've seen a lot of things online where people say that, uh, you know, he is technically a clone, so he should be healing. But I kind of thought, like, well, like, Wrecker from the Bad Batch hasn't really healed and, you know, is, uh, is Crosshair's healing as well. But anyway, we're not here to talk about Bad Batch or the book of Boba Fett. This is the Boba Fett figure from the Mandalorian as we're kind of coming around there I really kind of love that scar detail you know it's it's just kind of like a what's the word like 3d is not the word it's it's like protruding out of the figure kind of raised uh, as as like scarring would be that looks pretty cool he's got the the kind of sniper rifle there on the back not too much going on this is of course before he gets uh, any of the armor where he's kind of obviously chasing his armor the the mandalorian uh, obviously picks up as we swing back round i didn't mention of course he's got that staff i'm sure there's a more proper name in the star wars universe for such a staff uh yeah you, you kind of see the 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 wrap going round to to obviously hold the sniper rifle in place as well i'm trying to see if that's something there on the chest maybe it's just you know more kind of like it, it could be a uh, what do you call it, like a holster for a pistol inside. I, I honestly can't remember. Obviously, it's been almost a year now since uh, since this kind of figure. Well, I say this figure debuted. The character, no, the character didn't debut, but he returned almost a year ago. Um, you know, and, and book a Boba Fett out very very soon. In fact, stick around, guys, because we have an awesome Boba Fett. Uh, video coming sometime in December so make sure you do stick around for that but yeah this figure all sorts of cool and yeah very happy to add it to that ever-growing Mandalorian collection and that is just about going to do it for today's video guys first and foremost thank you so much for taking a little time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge if you did enjoy this video please be sure to give us a like drop some comments below what have you guys picked up recently in your hunts or in the mail and more specifically have you picked up anything from that New York Comic Con slash full convention exclusive line and as I mentioned when we were looking at this figure guys we have an awesome Boba Fett video coming sometime in December be sure to stick around. In fact, let me make it very easy for you. Hit this button right here to subscribe. Enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any future content, especially if you are a fan of the FET, so you don't miss that video in December. But guys, again, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Peace out, nerds.